let us look at the first port, the mouse port first. So here we have the PS2 port. So this green port is used to connect to a mouse with a PS2 connector. So usually at the back of the computer or the system unit, there is a logo showing this is a mouse port. And again, the PS2 port or the PS2 mouse is fading out again because they are usually replaced by the USB port or the USB mouse. And next, we have the keyboard port, which is the purple one, this circular keyboard port. So if you zoom in to get a better view, again, this is also a PS2 port, but usually it is in the purple color, representing this is for a keyboard. And of course, the PS2 P keyboard is now fading out and replaced by the USB keyboard. And here we can also see these are the USB ports. They are in rectangular shape. And this symbol represents the USB port. This is a USB connection. And next we have the VGA port here. And this VGA port is usually used to connect to a monitor through a VGA connector. And this can be a LCD monitor or a CRT monitor. Usually, they both use a VGA connection. And we should also note that the VGA connector is in the shape of a D character. So this is not the rectangle. This is quite like a trapezium or a D character. Next, we have the Ethernet port or the network port. As the name implies, the Ethernet port or the network port is used to connect the computer through a network cable to a network switch. We can observe from the icon here. So this represents a network icon, meaning that this port is used for connecting the computer to a network. So this network switch can be connected to other computers. So these computers, and then they will form a network.